Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll continue what we began day before yesterday the topic of estimation and rounding. This is part 3 of 3 on the topic of, as I said, rounding and estimation. We'll do problem number 2 that you will find on page number 76. A lot of the concepts that we talked about yesterday, I'm not going to keep repeating them. I'm not going to go into that much detail. Make sure you watch part 2, the previous video. Today is day number 121. Oh, I, I, I keep forgetting to change it. Today is day number 121. The video that you want to watch is day number 120 and 119 because that's when we begin rounding an estimation. Let's get going. It says, it says round, round 48.38 to the tenth digit. To the tenth digit. Right? To the tenth digit. The tenth digit is this. 0.3 is the tenth digit. Since this is 8 and 8 is more than 5 or equal to or more than 5, since 8 is equal to or more than 5, we're going to have to round it up. 0.38 becomes 0.4. So it becomes 48.4. Let's do one more. 6.008, we are being asked to round it to nearest hundredth. Nearest hundredth. This is the hundredth digit. Right now it is 0. But this is 8, which is equal to or more than 5. You have to say that. If it's equal to or more than 5, we're going to have to round it up. When we round it up, this next digit here, the hundredth digit, is going to become 1. So it becomes 6.01. Let's keep on going. 53,642 giving us around it to nearest. Thousands, thousands. How many thousands does 53,642 have approximately? That's the question. Well, 53,000, had it been, if, if, we, if we're being asked to round 53,500 to the nearest thousand, since it's equal to, or, since, it's, since this hundreds is equal to or more than 500, this, this is equal to or more than 500 because it's exactly 500, we would have rounded it to 54,000. Again, this is more than 500, 642, it's going to be rounded to 54,000. Had it been 53,499, rounded to the nearest thousands, 499, here's your 53,000, here's your 53,000, here's the 54,000, half in there is 53,500. So if something is, if something is 53,500 or more than that, then we round it up. If it's something less than that, we round it down. If it's less than 500. Let's carry on. So this becomes 53,000. Let's carry on. 19 19.796, 19.796, 19.796. Round it to hundredth. Round it to tenth. And round it to tens. And let's see what happens. When you round it to nearest tenth, the tenth digit, or rather hundredth digit, is nine. And after that, we have a six, which is in the thousandth place. And since six is more than a five, more than or equal to five, nine is going to become ten. And when nine becomes ten, Eight, 7 is going to become 8. So rounding 19.796 to nearest hundredth digit actually it converts into 19.80. That's the nearest hundredth digit. When we are being asked to convert it to nearest tenth, it's the same thing. Near, nearest tenth, now we are looking at hundredth. When we are being asked to convert it to nearest tenth, we are looking at this 9, which is equal to more than 5. 
when you round it up, it becomes 8. So the answers are same in this case. Answers in both cases, when you just when you round this quantity to nearest hundredth or nearest thousand, uh, nearest tenth, the answer is the same. 19.8 in both cases. When what happens when you round it to nearest tens? Well, 19 is closer to how many tens? 19 is closer to 20 than it is to 10. From 10 to 20, 19 of course is closer to 20. How many tens does it have? Two, two tens. When you bring, when you ask round it to nearest tens, it becomes 20. Let's carry on. I don't know where I was. There we go. 57.4445 around it to nearest tenth. Tenth digit. Well, the hundredth digit is 4. Hundredth digit is 4. And since 4 is less than 5, when you round it to the nearest tenth, it's just going to become 57.4. It's just going to become 57.4. 293 round it to nearest nearest tens what does it become 293 well 93 3 is less than 5 so if you again wanted to see it on a pictorially on a, on, a, on a picture how many tens is what we have well we have this is 290 and this is 300 question is is 293 because it's accounted by tens this is this 290 has 29 tens and 300 has 30 tens. This is 30 tens. This is 29 tens, which is what we mean by tens. 293 is this closer to 29 tens or 30 tens? Well, right in the middle is 295. And 293 is right here. So we're going to round it down. It becomes 290. It becomes 290. Let's move on. What if you were asked to convert, uh, not to convert rather, but to round 293 to nearest hundreds? Well, again, the same idea. Now we have to count by hundreds. This is 100, or rather not 100, we have between 2 and 3. This is 200, and this is 300. 250 is right here. So had we been asked to con round 250 to nearest 100, it would have been 300. 293 is even closer. 293 is even closer to 300. Two hundred and forty-three rounded to nearest hundreds would be just 200. Because 243 is closer to 200 than it is to 300. 200 and 50 rounded to nearest hundreds become 300. Because the rule is if it's 5 or more than 5, you round it up. 5 or more than 5. Let's continue. We're going to do 3 more, and that's it. Also, because I'm running out of ink on this one, I forgot to change the marker. I was going to do that in the after at the end of last video, and then I forgot again. 99. 473, 99.473, 99.473, 200, 210, and 200s. Well, 100s is very easy. 99 is closer to 100. This question is 99 is closer to how many hundreds? Zero hundreds or one hundreds? One hundreds or zero hundreds? Zero times one hundred is zero. This is zero hundred, this is one hundred. Had it been fifty or more, we would have rounded to one hundred. Ninety-nine, of course, is very close to one hundred. On the other hand, on the other hand, if you were asked to convert 49.473 to nearest nearest hundreds. This is tricky. Pay attention. 49.473 when it's rounded to nearest 100 it becomes a big fan zero. Oh we never did the tenth. 
we never did the tenth. 99.473, but when it's rounded to nearest tenth, tenth digit is this. This is the tenth digit, you have to look at the hundred digit. Hundred digit is equal to or more than five, you have to round it up, it becomes 99.5. When you convert, when you're being asked to convert it to nearest tenth, now we have to look at the hundreds, uh, thousand digits rather. Oh, blast it, I did it the other way around. I, I did it the other way around. This is being, this is being rounded to nearest tenth. I was looking at this one. I, I was doing this one. Anyway, this is hundred. So when we're being asked to round it to nearest one hundred, we look at the thousandth digit. Thousandth. This is three. It's less than five. It's going to remain forty-seven. Forty-nine point four seven three. When rounded to nearest one hundredth, becomes. 49.47, you just drop the 3 because 3 is less than 5, you do not round it up. When you round it to 10th digit, you have to look at the 100th digit, 100th digit is 7, since 7 is more than or equal to 5, 10th digit instead of 4, it becomes a 5, you round it up. That's it. In the next video, we'll learn how to round fractions, and that is going to be our last topic on this subject before we move on to something else. So in the next video, Actually, in the next two videos, we're going to do two, two lessons where we're going to learn how to round fractions in on day number 122 and 123. That's the game plan. Okay? Bye now.